Welcome to another episode of the Brander demo. In this one, we are going to show a little more the features that are available for you. So first, we will enable and check the different settings of the machines. You can see the green one and the red one are the different machines. And to be sure that it works, we just disable and re-enable the machine they called Mac Pro. I'm also going to show you, talk a bit about the station 3D that you can see is written artist at work and that's simply because it's a workstation. A workstation is different from a render node in that that during the day it is going to be disabled. So you can set some working hours like start and end to say when it's going to be used by someone and during these hours it will not render leaving all the processing power for the user. Right. So now we can see a bit more about the jobs. Here you can see in this example I have already a lot of jobs. They are all related to some projects. And you can see the settings that are saying they are finished. And we go to settings and change a bit the different projects. I have enabled a lot of projects in this case but we will just keep uh, two of them, the 3D track and Blender demo, so that some of these uh, files will not be shown here. Okay, so let's go back to the settings and uh, disable some of the projects. And we actually are going to keep the 3D track and Blender demo. These two jobs uh, will show enough. So by clicking on the little thumbnail, we can have an overview of the, the job. We can also put the dark background or use the B key to switch it. And uh, by clicking on one of the thumbnail, we can have the, the overview of the image. And you have the little arrows to go to the left. And you can also see the next 10 frame jump by 10 frames. Uh, of course, you can also use the, key uh, the shortcut like left arrow or right arrow to go one frame or up and down will skip 10 frames by pressing escape you can go back to the job in the edit uh, job dialog we can set the configuration but also set the progress status this is a kind of indication of uh, how well the job is done yet you can see it in the overview of the jobs let's say now this scene has been approved or you can put another state like animation that means we are still doing the animation and you can write a little remark like okay needs tweaking by someone or whatever you need to do on the job it's go always going to show on this uh, progress status column it's quite useful to know which scene you still have to work on and which one can be rendered or when you're doing tests now what we need to do is add a new job but first I'm going to show you a bit of the folder setup that I use I usually have a scene folder scenes in which I have another folder with the name of the scene and different shots uh, as blend files so you see 02, 02 is alarm, 03, 02 starfighter, whatever you have uh, your different uh, settings and uh, it always renders in a in the same kind of folder so we can for instance see this uh, starfighter model from the blend swap uh, you can see how they look in the in the blender and we can also see that the renders that are coming out are just uh, normal let's first look at uh, one of the scene for instance 0102 which is basically just some uh, an array of cubes uh, running around and dancing a bit. So to add this uh, scene, we, we need first to analyze and see uh, where, on which scene it is. So it's on 01 intro, and then automatically you can see it's actually this file 0102. So the shot is 0102, and we do um, a setting, for instance preview. The frames are going to let's see 50. So let's uh, just uh, enter 50 the number of chunks you can uh, leave it like this or you can can be set more later 
So we do a start job. We could do a direct start, but let's just do a normal one. And it is actually paused, so nothing is going to happen. I'm showing back the the, um, the terminal so that we can see that whenever we start the job, oh, things are starting to render. Uh, also, if I refresh the overview now, you can see these cubes are getting rendered. Uh, the last one was rendered by Mac Pro. You can see a little anti-aliasing. That's because actually I rendered in a very low resolution uh, for a going faster and as a preview that's what you usually do uh, you preview all the, your all your scenes and after that only you do the final render in high quality so right now we have some uh, some of the previews and by now the job should be finished so let's go back to the overview and uh, see if it works you can see all the uh, all the frames are rendered and we are now going to, let's say, finish the job by, okay, the client said, oh, I don't want gray, I want blue, so let's change them in blue. Uh, go back just to the overview, and we can just restart by pressing the reload, restart. Again, you can see the machines are starting to render, and magically, some of the cubes, when they are get rendered, become blue. That's the main uh, function of this uh, Brender software, is to help you in managing your scenes and jobs.